Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th, and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Virgo, please remember that energies do go both ways, so I could be reading your energy or your person's energy that's attached to you. Take the energies as they resonate for you. This is a general reading. Virgo, what the heck? Can't be showing me those energies. That's just, that's just confusing. Okay, okay. So the main energy for your reading this week is the Knight of Wands. You are definitely being drawn in a specific direction. You are very bold. It's almost like you're a moth to a flame. There's something that you want to do here and it kind of lights you up inside whatever this is or whoever this is because you've got love all over your reading. So in the recent past, you get the sun, the four of cups, the king of pentacles. These are two very opposing energies. The sun is literally the happiest card in the deck. And then you're showing me, but I'm unhappy. And you are the king of pentacles to me. I don't assign gender to my cards. So what's going on here? Either you're happy or you're not happy. What I think, and we'll see when we clarify, but what I feel like is you're showing up under an energy of, I'm elated, I'm happy, this is amazing, but you're not actually. There's something missing here for you. But we'll see. In the current situation, you get the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. I mean, hello, what the heck is this beauty? Emotional balance, love, commitment, passion, beautiful. You're Whatever this connection is that's showing up here for you, it could be somebody that you have history with. It could be somebody new. We'll see when we clarify. There's a very strong connection, a very strong bond, and you're showing me this makes me feel over the moon, over the moon happy, um, and also very emotionally balanced as well, which is interesting because you Virgos, man, you guys love going up in your head. You can overthink the hell out of something. Now, in the near future, you get the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands. Something's showing up here for you. And you want to take action towards it. You want to have this brand new beginning with someone or in a specific direction. But there's some waiting here. You're waiting for something. And I feel like it ties into, remember what I said before? Something's missing for you. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to start off by clarifying the main energy for your reading, which is the Knight of Wands. And I said it, I was like, you Virgos, y'all love being up in your head. <laughs> and you get the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Devil, the Four of Cups. Virgo, listen, now I understand why this Four of Cups is showing up here for you. You're ruining this for yourself, my love. You are drawn in a specific direction. Your higher self is showing me I'm being pulled towards this person, towards this connection. This is passionate to me. This is love. This is like... I love this. I want to feel this. And then your mind comes in and you have a pattern of doing this, by the way, not just Virgos, whoever this reading resonates with, this could be a pattern for you where you're being pulled. You feel like you're guided in a specific direction. Your higher self is moving you there. And you're like, no, no, let's think about this. Then you start thinking about this. You don't think about all the beautiful, wonderful things that could happen. No, what you start thinking about is worst case scenario. What can happen? This person did this to me. What if they do this? What if I get hurt? What if they leave me? What if they don't love me? What if they reject me? Da, 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 da. And then what ends up happening is you change, you transition this beautiful, passionate energy into unhappiness. Because of course, your mind is coming in and literally just making a mess of everything and being like, oh yeah, sure. You feel drawn to this person. You feel drawn to this connection. But think about all the bad things that can happen. And then you sit there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, 20 hours, whatever. And then, of course, that beautiful energy is going to change into, man, this is going to really suck. And this is all up in your head, by the way. You've created this scenario for yourself with your thoughts and with your overthinking. And I see this being a pattern for you. Let's see. Let's clarify your recent past. I want to see what the sun is for you in the recent past. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or another earth sign. The sun is clarified by the six of pentacles, the hierophant, the wheel of fortune. Things were happening here. Things were shifting. Things were changing. I feel like this person and you started exchanging energies equally. 
you communicated, they communicated, you gave energy, they gave energy. It was equal give and take here. And it shifted for the better, which is letting you know that something in the past happened between the two of you, which kind of muddied the waters, which kind of made you not feel so great about this connection. But in the recent past, I see there being happiness. This equal give and take of energies also brought you a lot of happiness, Virgo. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. And so whatever took place here between you and this person, this equal exchange of energies, this communication, maybe you guys met up, etc. That brought you happiness. That made you feel good. So let's take a look at this Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups for you in the recent past? <clears throat> the Four of Cups is clarified by the Sun, which you just got. The Justice, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You guys are a divine match, a very stable, very grounded match. And again, some of you may be dealing with another earth sign. I feel like whatever unhappiness you experienced tied up to this connection in the recent past was balanced out. It was like with the justice here, it wasn't just like, you know, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry too. No, it was balance being restored on like a divine level. It's like your higher self and their higher self came together and was like, yo, we chill. Yeah, we chill. Okay, wipe the slate clean. Um, and that brought you in a lot of happiness. This unhappiness is something that was remedied by this person or this you know connection coming back into balance you get the six of pentacles and the justice the justice is the major arcana for the six of pentacles and so you and this person you know made nice and played nice here in the 3d realm but your higher selves also came together and were like hey are we cool yeah we're cool okay cool you know so this is beautiful let's see what this king of pentacles is for you in the recent past Oh, Virgo. King of Pentacles is clarified by the strength. Three of Swords, the Three of Wands. You get the Three of Wands in the near future in the same row. And then it felt good, but then your mind came in. And you're like, oh, shit. What happened? Remember everything that happened between me and you? Remember everything they did to you? Remember all the heartbreak? Remember all the pain that they caused you when they left, when they broke up, when they, you know, did whatever they did? Remember all of that? And then you're like, yeah, I remember. And what does that do? It puts a pause on all this beautiful energy. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to wait. Let me, let me take a step back here real quick. So it could be that you and this person were talking, communicating, hanging out. And then you take a step back and you're like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to take a minute for me. Now it's not that I'm going to take a minute for me because I need a breather. It's I'm going to take a minute for me because all this fear of me getting hurt and this pain and this person hurting me and everything that happened, whether it's with them or with another connection, that's all surfacing for me. That's in the recent past. Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to see what the Nine of Cups, okay? The Nine of Cups in the current situation is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so... What you're showing me here is you really do value your independence, okay? You value your independence, but you're also valuing something tied up to this connection. You do still have love towards this person, towards this connection, but you're not showing up with that love. I don't see an explosion of love quite yet. What you're showing me is like, you know what? What feels good to me is dip my toe in. I'm going to give this person a finger of energy. They're not getting the whole hand. And the reason you're not giving them the whole hand of energy, stupid metaphor I know, Virgo, is because of this pain. You are afraid that things are not going to work out. And I have the tendency to say things are not going to work out again because I feel like you and this person have history. You have this energy of a fear of things not working out, of things going to shit all over again because they did in the past. So obviously they're going to happen again, right? So what you're showing me is like, you know what? I'm open. I'm a talk. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to communicate, but this person, they're probably looking at you and being like, Virgo, could you give less of a shit? Like, could you not care anymore? But you do care. You do care. You just, you're not showing them. I see it. They don't see it. Let's take a look at the two of cups in the current situation. killing me here bro the two of cups is clarified by the queen of swords the five of cups the seven of cups yeah the past the past is coming up you're not letting go of the past and i don't know if this is you i don't know if this is this person the love is there my dude the love is there i can see the love i know you feel the love but then what do you do you put the queen of swords on top which is literally like love 
Nope, immediately no. And the way you're able to shut off that love that you feel, because you feel it, is by thinking of the past. They did this, they said this, they left, they hurt me. They did all of these things, but literally you've got like a list, a freaking laundry list of all the bad things that they did to hurt you, to cause you pain, etc. And that's what you're using. You keep thinking of that and you keep repeating that in your head over and over again. That's what you're using to shut off the emotions. That's your safe spot. That's what you're like, you know what? Yeah, if I don't feel the feelings, then I can't get hurt. And the way I can't get hurt is by keep replaying the past. And don't forget. The Eight of Swords and the Devil show up as the main energy for your reading, which is letting me know that you have a pattern of doing this, of going up into your head. But here's the thing though, Virgo, it makes you unhappy. And I can tell you, if you look at these energies, love is a beautiful energy. But then your mind comes in and tacks on all these fears and all this pain, and that just makes you unhappy. But don't worry, we all do it. That's way too many cards. No, it's not. It's three cards. Okay. Spirit's never wrong. So, the Four of Wands in the current situation is clarified by the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, which you got in the current situation as well, and the Six of Wands. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. Um, here's the beautiful thing, though, Virgo. It's only going to work out once you step into this energy of being bold, not being afraid, being able to take control of your mind and allow the love, the good, the happy feelings to come to the surface. OK, you're going to get there and you're going to get there quickly. But what's happening is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even think this is your energy. I take it back. I take it back. I don't think this is your energy. I think this is your person's energy. OK, here's the thing. I, I feel like this is you. This could be them. But this is definitely the other person. Whoever this is, this is not them. In the current situation, somebody here is really scared. Somebody here is really closed off. Somebody here feels the feelings, but the past keeps coming up. The past pain, the past abandonment, the past, you know, etc., etc., etc. And I feel like it's you because you get the Eight of Swords, which is telling me that you tend to overthink this. Now, on the other hand, this is your person's energy. Look at their freaking energy. The Four of Wands, the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands. This connection is their wish fulfillment. And not only that, they view you as like their person they're looking at you like man this person is strong they're attractive they're like radiant and they're energetic and like my connection with virgo makes me feel emotionally balanced makes me feel happy makes me feel good like i know we can do this i feel like your person's not even aware of all this that's going up in your head not even aware of this and if they are they don't really care because they still see a bigger picture you're looking at the past and the pain. This other person's like, eh, we'll get through this. I know we can because I can see what's going to happen. I can see the bigger picture. And again, this could be your energy, but one of y'all is up in your head and the other one's just like, you know what? I want this so bad it hurts and I know that we can make this happen. Like this, this is what I want. This is so, wow. I want to say your person's oblivious, but I don't think they're oblivious. I think they're just kind of like more optimistic than you. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what this page of wands is for you in the near future, Virgo. It's funny because I was clarifying your energy and then the other person comes in and it's like, wait, but look at me. Look at all the good, like the positive energy I'm bringing in. Oh, Virgo. In the near future for the page of wands, you get the full, the ace of pentacles, the world. There's a brand new beginning here, man. There's a brand new beginning, not only in this 3D world, right? Remember how I said in the past it was your you, the 3D world you, and then your higher self with the person? In the near future, it's the same thing. Your higher self and the 3D world you both are feeling like, hey, there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. And somebody here is just taking it and being like, nope, no new beginning for us. We're done. We're over. This is it. It's like... The energy is right there, like, and you want this too. It's not just the other person. Like, you can feel it. Your higher self can feel it. These are both cards of this is brand new. Like, we can have this brand new beginning. And somebody here is like, nope, close it out, close it out. Not going to happen. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands for you in the near future. <laughs> and the other person don't give a fuck. <laughs> 
the ace of wands is clarified by the eight of wands bro i don't know who this is i love your person man their energy is literally just coming in and counterbalancing yours and it's so beautiful to see and sometimes you really do need this virgo whoever this is somebody here has a tendency to get up into their head get up into their head like no tomorrow and this other person's coming in and being like, oh, you're up in your head? Okay, well, let me bring you back down to earth. Come, come play with me. This is beautiful. The Ace of Wands in the near future is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Judgment. This other person's higher self has already made the decision that this is going to work out. It's like, you're scared to take that leap of faith. This other person has already jumped. This other person's committed. They're like, I want this. We're going to make this happen, Virgo. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Let's work together. Come on. I'll meet you 50%, you meet me 50%. Talk to me, I'll talk to you. We can transform this energy. We can transform your fear. And I want like, they're trying to get you, you know how there's that saying like, come to the dark side? They're trying to get you to the light side. You're in the dark side now where you're like, all you see is doom and gloom. And this other person's coming in and being like, Virgo, but look at how pretty it can be here. Come play, come with me. This is, man, all right. Let's take a look at the three of wands for you in the near future. <laughs> okay 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 the three of wands the three of wands is clarified by the page of pentacles five of wands page of wands okay y'all are meeting halfway there is a conflict here between you and this person which needs to get resolved something needs to come to the surface here and needs to get squashed now in the recent past i feel like you guys squashed it but this internal conflict, this conflict is not happening between you and this person. It's happening between you and you. It's like this other person's coming in and pulling you and being like, Virgo, come play. Virgo, come, come. Let, let's be happy here. And this conflict is like, do I let my fears take over? Do I let my mind take over? What do I do? Or do I actually follow and trust this person? I feel like you're going to meet them halfway. Again, you ain't given much here, Virgo. I'm going to be honest. You're not given much, but you're given something. But you're taking your sweet ass time with it, too. But this is so cool to see where your person's just like, stop being doom and gloom, Virgo. Come, come here, come hither. This is, this is beautiful. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Virgo. That was beautiful. I got a chuckle out of the end of it. Your person is literally, either they're oblivious to your energy or they just genuinely don't care that you're all up in your head because they know what this can be. They see the bigger picture. They see the true Virgo, not the mind Virgo, not the overthinking Virgo. It's like they see your higher self and they're able to communicate with that. This is beautiful, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. But from the universe, you get the higher font, which you got opening your reading, the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles. You're showing up as the page of pentacles here in the near future. You're going to meet this person halfway. Y'all are going to work together. Now, keep in mind, this other person's coming in with, I, I feel like this is love because you showed me that this was love. But the way this is coming up is more like playful, lighthearted energy. I feel like you and this person are coming in as let's be friends. Let's hang out. Let's be friends. Let's talk. Let's just, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Underneath all that Virgo, y'all got love. Y'all got mad love. Okay. Like you get the queen of cups at the bottom of this deck. Y'all got mad freaking love, but you're apprehensive. You're showing up cautiously. And I feel like this other person kind of respects that. Like, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to push Virgo. I will let them come to me because there's really no point pushing you. Nobody can force you to do anything anyway. Um, but I feel like this other person's kind of letting you come out of your shell and being like, okay, Virgo, you want to play on the friend level? Let's play on the friend level. You just want to be friends? We can just be friends. Because they know. they Again, this other person sees the bigger picture they see your higher self they see what you truly feel and they don't let this this mind come in and mess with it you kind of do because it's your mind you're with it all day this other person's kind of just like hee -hee, no this is beautiful i love this i love whoever this is whoever you are virgo's counterpart i love you um, so Virgo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to check out your monthly reading up on the channel now. Thanks again for tuning in, Virgo, and I will see you here next week. Bye, Virgo.